Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Matthew chapter 5, 21 and following. You have heard it said, do not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. As we discussed earlier, Premeditated sins are tantamount to actual acts. Once the desire and the opportunity meet in the same space, the action will most likely be carried out. Even if the action is not physically executed, having indulged in it in our hearts, that qualifies it as the action of sin itself. Therefore, our Lord's instruction is... I tell you, if anyone looks lustfully at a woman, he has already committed adultery with her in his heart. He, however, goes further. He says, as he instructs us, that we should pay attention to the unruly parts of our body. Whatever member of our bodies present us with the most challenges, they need to be sacrificed. If your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And a similar thing for your right hand. The idea is similar to the admonition of Jesus presented in Luke chapter 14, 26 to 27. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, his wife and children, his brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, He cannot be my disciple, and anyone who does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. In the above, our Lord is by no means advocating hating family um, and, and our loved ones. No, that's not what he's advocating. His instruction is to be understood figuratively and not literally, and it's a similar thing here. Jesus does not want his followers to elevate anything to a higher level or to place anything before him. Our affections, penchants, proclivities, desires have to be sacrificed for the sake of Christ. Loved ones, if we are going to maintain a strong Christian witness, we have to remember that this is no joke. Drastic action is required. The Apostle Paul puts it this way. He says in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 and following, he says in the 27th verse, I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Oh, my brothers and sisters, you know, um, we have to recognize the message translation uh, translates uh, the, the passage in Matthew 5, 29 and 30. You have to blind your right eye to the moment the very moment you catch it in a lustful lair, you have to choose to live one-eyed or else be dumped, oh, in the trash pile. Loved ones, we all have our challenges. We struggle with different things. But let us understand and heed our Lord's admonition today. What is it? that you maybe have to sacrifice for the sake of Christ? What is it that you may need to unplug from, as painful as it might be? 
it could cause your destruction. So let the Holy Spirit help us today to see ourselves and let us ask him to search us and help us to deal with our own personal challenges. Loved ones, that is what sanctification is. And we are seeking consecration and sanctification. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647 696-0422. Should you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. Someone is standing by to support you right now. If you have not secured your copy of my book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership as yet, today is a good day for you to get your copy on Amazon. The link is provided for you in the description below. And if you live in Jamaica, you could get your copy at the Waltham Park, Sterling Castle, Montego Bay, New Testament Churches of God, or you can call the bookshop at the head office of the New Testament Church of God in Jamaica. They carry the title as well. We look forward to hearing from you how core leadership services might be of help to you in your church or your organization to prepare people for future leadership. Give us a call or send us a text and we will be willing to support you in that regard. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.